Time now for Hawk Zone. The Seattle Seahawks traveled to the city of brotherly love and took on the Philadelphia Eagles this past Monday. We saw Chris Carson return to the field and DK Metcalf had another outstanding game. Now the Seahawks, the focus is on the New York Giants. Terry Holman joins us this week for Hawk Zone. Hey, Terry. Hey, Emily. How are you? I am good. It's good to see you. Listen, I am so excited to be a part of your very first Hawk Zone. This Aww. is a historical moment. I am so happy for you and happy to be a part of this. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I am thrilled. I am so glad we're talking about this with you because you're the expert when it comes to football. I am definitely not. But I got some questions for you first. Well, let's live. Let's hear them. All right. So what is the difference with the defensive line and getting pressure on the QB? What's going on? What's been the difference with that? Well, they had a tough time at the beginning of the season, you know, getting to the opposing teams' quarterbacks. I think we had some injuries on the defensive line that really held us back. The Seahawks brought in uh, Bruce Irvin to really try to stabilize that this year since we lost Jadavion Clowney in the offseason. Um, but he was injured, and we've had a little problem getting to him. Lately, we've had the brought in Carlos Dunlap, and he's done an incredible job uh, getting off the edge. And along with uh, safety, Jamal Adams, some guy that we brought in uh, in the offseason as well, these guys have combined to put together a number of sacks last week uh, against Philadelphia that had six in the last uh, six games. They've had 19 sacks. So they've done an incredible wow. job. Oh, my goodness. So, so who do you give more credit to, Schneider or the coaching staff for this defensive turnaround? Well, it's a combination, man. Snyder's the guy that puts the plan in order and makes the transaction and makes the deals happen. But then the coaching staff has to take those pieces of the puzzle that Snyder gave them and make it work. So they've done a great job together in concert to make the defense really come together in the last couple of games. All right, so what is the biggest concern then for the Seahawks going up against the Giants, in your opinion? Uh, the biggest concern, I don't even think it's a concern right now. They just have to keep building on what they did. Uh, last week versus Philadelphia. They did a great job, like you said, of getting at the quarterback, sacking the quarterback, and that's one of the things that's taken a lot of pressure off the defensive secondary. On the flip side, they've had a trouble with the running backs being injured this season, and last week they were able to get Chris Carson back in the fold, which I think is the key to making this Seahawks offense go. We have some incredible weapons on the outside, but as long as we have Chris Carson and Carlos Hyde running the ball, the Seahawks got an opportunity to win. What, is, what do you expect to see? What are some of the great things you expect to see our team do this, this coming game? Well, Russ. Russell Wilson is going to be stepping it up again and, and utilizing his weapons. Of course, we saw last week DK Metcalf had an incredible game. 10 catches, 177 yards. DK Metcalf in his second year has proven to be not only one of the best receivers in the National Football League, but I think right now he is the best receiver in the National Football League, one of the most exciting playmakers. So I look to see big things from Russ and DK Metcalf, maybe even throwing a little bit of Tyler Lockett. Okay, so now I, now I have to ask you the question, one of the questions that the producer, he gave me this question, and I asked you about it before because I said, I don't even understand this question. So I'm giving it to you right now, Terry. Let Russ cook or feed Carson and Hyde. Well, I don't know, Amity. What do you think? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think let Russ cook. Always. Give it to Russ. No, here's the deal. So let Russ cook mm -hmm. and then let Carson eat. So you got Russ cooking over here. You got, if you're cooking, somebody has to do some eating, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let Russ cook, which means let him throw the ball down the field to his big playmakers yeah. like DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. But at the same time, in order for you to do that, you got to turn around and hand the ball off to Chris Carson because he likes to eat. And when he eats, the Seahawks win. They pick up lots of yards on first and second and third down, which makes it easier for Russ to convert third downs and, and throw the ball down the field. What do you think we've been doing best this year in, as opposed to the last few years? What have we really improved on? I think when you look, and, and I, I know we sound like a broken record here, but the kid is really just that good. Mm -hmm. DK Metcalf being a deep threat, throwing the ball downfield. You watch the way that he and Russ are able to connect. Some of the work that they did in the offseason has obviously paid off. This kid plays with a chip on his shoulder. So I think the deep balls that we're able to throw to DK Metcalf, not just the deep balls, because everybody thought he was just going to be a straight line, fast guy to run down the field. But this guy can make the intermediate catches, make guys miss, run over guys, throw guys to the ground, and then go and score six points. So the, it, I think the downfield throwing is, 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 is 
been a big deal for the Seahawks this year. So amazing to me. Someone so young at 22 years old can keep their head in the game like that and, and not be so intimidated working with someone like Russ, who is just a god, let's be real. Yeah, I, at 22, I was still pretty much an idiot. So I, I can't imagine <laughs> being 22 years old, <laughs> going out there on the national stage in the National Football League, doing what you've dreamed about your entire life with one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, a future Hall of Famer like Russell Wilson, and being able to keep your head on straight week in, week out, and being the number one guy in the whole league. It's incredible. I feel fortunate. I feel like Seattle is cheating right now. But you can make <laughs> well, congratulations to him. Hey, thank you for stopping by, Terry. We are talking soon, I hope. Absolutely, anytime. All right, we'll check in with you very quickly. But first, the Seahawks. Welcome the New York Giants to Lumen Field right here in Seattle on Sunday with kickoff at 1.05. I think Terry's been calling it Boom and Lumen. I, I can't remember. All right, so we're right in the middle of open enrollment right now with your medical insurance. And if you have any questions, you're not alone. We've got more details on your health care options when we come back. 